The Aquino administration is pursuing a rational program for the national government. This is designed to eliminate excess fat, attract more qualified and upright people in government service, and make delivery of public service more prompt and adequate to the needs of the Filipinos. This report. The government rationalization program will end this year. It was implemented almost eight years through Executive Order 366 in 2005. The main goal of the program is to make government services more effective and efficient based on transparency and accountability and to affirm the administration's drive to improve government services and fair compensation for government workers president aquino directed the dbm to upgrade the incentives for all employees affected by the program the president green-lighted amendments to key provisions of executive order 637 that provides incentives for the affected personnel President Aquino issued Executive Order 77 on which the rationalization benefits will be computed using the latest monthly salary instead of their compensation as of June 30, 2007. The affected workers by the rationalization plan can avail of retirement or transfer to other departments. Budget Secretary Florencio Abad said the government has allotted 6.23 billion pesos upgraded incentives under the Aquino administration from the 4.10 billion pesos in 2007. The rationalization program was based on technological change resulting to duplication, redundant and obsolete functions. The plan was implemented in all departments of the executive branch, including all agencies and government-owned and controlled corporations. Excluded are the police, military, teachers and health workers. The main objectives are to enhance effectiveness and efficiency of public service, additional resources to fund priority projects of the government, improve delivery of government service to satisfy clients, and uplift the morale of government workers. As of 2012, 7,352 government employees from the 93 agencies accepted the program by retiring ahead of the mandatory retirement age of 65. For the People's Television, Rock Ignacio.